Animal House from 1978. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming at you guys on the channel here today from the homie Alexander Collin. Shout out to him for requesting silver on Patreon, man. We got another classic, man. Another old movie, 1978. I think this falls into the category of one of the oldest movies I've watched. Not the oldest movie, but one of the older movies that I have watched, man. And I'm excited for it. I don't know what to expect going into it, really. The only thing I know is what genre it is. It says it's a teen slash comedy movie. And the second I saw that, the first thing that came to mind is the American Pie series, man. Obviously, I recently checked those movies out i love them i miss them i know they're spinoffs i plan to do those at some point but i'm excited to see this man like i said i love those movies and that's immediately what i thought about when i saw the genre for this so i feel like i haven't done too many comedies as of late i went on a little comedy kick and then i took a break obviously i've been doing a lot of horror movies and stuff so this is gonna be a good switch up but guys i'm gonna stop wasting time we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie before we do i do ask if you guys are new to the channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to help bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie take off that beanie hey we're supposed to wear them to homecoming don't be a fruit okay <laughs> well that ain't no beanie it's like a weird cap hi there doug niedermeyer omega membership chairman larry kroger this <laughs> yeah damn Hi there, Camp. Hi, Larry. Hi. Welcome to Omega House. Thank you. Nice to Why don't we just go inside and meet some of the guys, huh? This is already giving me 21 Jump Street vibes, kind of, for some reason. There are a lot of great guys here, so don't feel you have to meet everyone. We just want you to enjoy yourselves while you're here. He said, not that way. Ken, Lonnie, I'd like you to meet, um, Muhammad, <laughs> uh, Jugdish, Sydney, and Clayton. He wants them to hang out with these guys, doesn't want them to actually go mingle with everybody else. Damn. Oh, hey, my man got a bug on him, too. Wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> He's looking like, is he dead? Muhammad, Lonnie. Uh... Yeah, we already met. Oh, super. Then you'll have lots to talk about, huh? He said, then good, stay over here. My brother Fred was a Delta. That makes me a legacy. I heard Delta's the worst house on campus. <laughs> Maybe you're gonna have some fun here, though. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Is this the Delta House? Sure. Hi. Come on, man. Come on in. You might have to catch a quick one-two after that. 100% got on their shoes. <laughs> Grab a brew. Don't cost nothing. Hey, at least they aren't acting fake, right? Hi, guys. You guys playing cards? <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I said, at least they ain't acting fake, man. You know what I mean? You want a beer? Larry? Sure. <laughs> the old party trick. Definitely more laid back here. I, I like the vibe here already more than the other one, to be honest, dude. Now, let me give you a hint. She's got a couple of major league yabos. Beverly. No. Does this ring a bell? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are you so interested in my social life? Where's Katie? Downstairs, pissed off about something. She thinks you're an immature jerk, huh? I don't take anything seriously. She'll take this seriously. Try it. Hey, are you guys what? This thing talk. Damn. It's the Undertaker making his entrance. <laughs> Yo, that's actually kind of dope. Hey, Eric Stratton. Rush that was dope. <laughs> he said legacies usually get asked to pledge automatically. Oh, well, usually, unless the pledge in question turns out to be a real closet case. <laughs> like like Fred. <laughs> Damn. Hi, don't anything. Katie. Yeah. Hi, Eric Stratton, Rush Chairman. Damn glad to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could drive up to your folks' place this weekend. It's just gonna be you and me. And not on another girl. Is this really what you're gonna do for the rest of your life? I mean, hanging around with a bunch of animals, getting drunk every weekend. After I graduate, I'm gonna get drunk every night. <laughs> I think I'm in love with a retard. Is he bigger than me? <laughs> uh, maybe she ends up getting with Larry. That's hilarious, dude. 
Who dumped a whole truckload of fizzies into the swim meet? Who delivered the medical school cadavers to the alumni dinner? What? Every Halloween, the trees are filled with underwear. Every spring, the toilets explode. You're talking about Delta, sir. Figured. Find me a way to revoke Delta's charter. The time has come for someone to put his foot down, and that foot is me. <laughs> uh, Larry Kroger, all in favor? Uh, yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Good. Larry Kroger is now pledged to Delta Tau Chi. Next slide, please, D-Day. His boy. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Okay, this guy is a real zero. That's true. Let's just think back to when you guys were freshmen, huh? Boom! You had a face like a pepperoni pizza, right? <laughs> and Stork here. Everybody thought the Stork was brain damaged. The seniors used to beat me up once a week. Well, let me tell you the story of another loser. <laughs> hey, he's trying, man. Uh, I state your name. <laughs> I state your name. Do you hereby <laughs> pledge allegiance to the frat. To hereby pledge allegiance to the frat with liberty and fraternity for all. Amen. He's making us up as we go. Now on your Delta Tau Chi name is Weasel. It? Uh, now on your name is Mothball. <laughs> this dude just comes up with names. Your Delta Tau Chi name is Pinto. Why Pinto? Why not? <laughs> well, what's my Delta Tau Chi name? He's getting there. Chill. From now on. Your name is Flounder. <laughs> Flounder. Damn, dude. I mean, in the moment, it may seem like, damn, really? But you gotta look back. Your boy's gonna be calling you that when you're 40 with kids. We now consecrate the bond of obedience. This is how they swear in. <laughs> Assume the position. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Is that a cricket paddle? Sir, may I have another? <laughs> what? Thank you, sir. May I have another? Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> a lot of you have difficulty understanding exactly what Milton was trying to say. Hold on now. He killing it. The most intriguing character, as we all know from our reading, Satan. Now, was Milton trying to tell us that being bad was more fun than being good? He's like, this isn't rhetorical. I'm waiting for reports from some of you. I'm not joking. This is my job. <laughs> Dude ain't got no order in the classroom. None at all. Four and one, two. <laughs> halt. Our boy Kent back there dying. Redo those buttons. Dress that belt buckle. Straighten that cap. And God damn it, tuck up those pajamas. <laughs> Fucked it. Damn. That just looked like muddy water, dude. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many times that's happened to him. Drop and give me 20. Oh no. My man can't probably he can't even do 10. Oh hey, shit! Kick back and race! The pan turn! Always try to hit through the ball. Damn! <laughs> oh shit! I gotta work on my game. The whole point is just to enjoy yourself. Dude, Dude that would be terrible being dragged like that. Are you kidding me? He's like he ain't on concrete. Don't embarrass me in front of Dave, okay? He's the only professor I like. I know. Mr. Jennings is a wonderful teacher. Mm. Now, teaching's a way of paying the rent. <laughs> Dude with his cat and all. Yes. Oh my it's god, four and a half years. Piece of shit. <laughs> Anybody like to smoke some pot? <laughs> Bro, Dave, chill as fuck. <laughs> my man really just said, would you guys like to smoke some pot? All right, now this is getting a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, his face! Dude ain't have to make it creepy as he did. 
Are they in the bathroom? I mean, I guess trying to hide it, right? But still. I won't go schizo, will I? It's a distinct possibility. <laughs> Our whole solar system could be like one tiny atom in the fingernail of some other giant being. <laughs> it's blunt. <laughs> Dude, that would be terrifying. Horses are so like majestic and shit, but I'd be terrified. They're so fucking strong. Baby, yeah, it's all right, you stupid son. Uh -huh. <laughs> your days are numbered here at the uh -huh. You and all your sick Delta buddies. Oh, uh, he's telling them. Uh -huh. Now drop and give me 20. Yes, but. Uh -huh. Hit it! Uh -huh. Oh, dude. Now we have an old saying in Delta. Don't get mad. Get even. Uh. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh no. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Bro, that is such a nice horse, man. Now finish it, Flounder. What? I never shot anything before in my life. Is there anything in the world you hate as much as that horse? Bro, do not do this. Do not do this. Oh, I'm gonna be livid. It was one thing putting the horse in here as a joke. Is it really just blanks? Maybe this is their like test for him. <laughs> that was Kent getting fucked up, wasn't it? Holy shit! There were blanks in that gun! I didn't even point the gun at him! Holy shit! There were oh my god. Maybe he had a heart attack! Holy shit! Damn! Whoa! I'm being scared, huh? Oh, dude, I'm, that's so messed up. Come on, I don't think it's right that you should extort money from the college. Look. <laughs> the horse. These parades are very expensive. You're using my police, my sanitation people. If you mention extortion again, I'll have your legs broken. <laughs> you better sit on that zoo fraternity of yours. Delta House. We'll have the best homecoming parade Faber's ever had. Oh my god. He's cutting the horse up. Oh, the golf ball that had gone in it earlier. Dude, do not. Oi! Bro, that is so gross. The maple bars. What a wonderful world this would be. Bro, what? <laughs> Dude, this are, they actually look like they got a good choice for food. Holy heck. My oh, man's stocking up. <laughs> Round two. And I know that if you love me too, oh my god. Bro, that's insane. That is crazy, dude. <laughs> Don't you have any respect for yourself? <laughs> oh my I'm gosh! Get it? <laughs> Damn! Just like that. Poor janitors, man. You said I'll say when I said that Eric Stratton <laughs> should be put in jail. I'm trying to figure out what you- Darn it, Greg. If you're not even going to try, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Gloves on and all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Casually just has a ladder over here. Just <laughs> <laughs> His face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. You better be quiet. <laughs> it, 
loud ass ladder. Eh. Does she not see him? <laughs> the way he just literally looks into the camera. Ah! <laughs> Damn! My man literally just passed out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Dude was deep in there. <laughs> Dude, the comedy in this is so good, man. It's so different from comedy nowadays. You know, they, they're they not trying too hard. It's so simple. I just checked with the guys at the Jewish house, and they said that every one of our answers on the psych test were wrong. Everyone? Ooh. Those assholes must have stolen the wrong fucking exam. Damn. God, look what just creeped in. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody forgot there's a rule against alcoholic beverages. In fraternities on probation. Sure. I didn't get that, son. What was that? I said, uh, what a shame that a few bad apples have to spoil a good time for everyone. <laughs> he tried to save it. Have you boys seen your grade point average yet? It's the lowest in Faber history. We're hoping that our midterm grades will really help our average. <laughs> One more mistake. And this fraternity of yours has had it at favor. <laughs> He's like, hold on now. We run double secret probation, whatever that is. We can't afford to have a toga party. You guys up for a toga party? Toga! Nobody taking it serious, man. They're going to nail us no matter what we do. That's we true, too. We might as well have a good time. Toga! Toga! I see where he's coming from, but it's also like you guys kind of put yourself in this situation. It's not gonna be an orgy. It's a toga party. <laughs> Where'd he get the wheels? From his brother. Yeah? He's letting him use it for a week or so. Uh huh. Flounder's bringing his girlfriend up for the weekend. Hold on now, Flounder. Ah. Out of yeah. Hold on. My man got hands. Yo! He caught every single one of those almost. That was actually impressive. Keep your sweater cold. Be cool. Bro, overstuffed it. That's so obvious. I beg your pardon? Oh, my cucumber. It's bigger. It. Vegetables can be really sensuous, don't you think? Vegetables are sensual. People are sensual. Right, yeah. sensual. But by the way, my name is Eric Stratton. They call me Otter. They call me Mrs. Wormer. Oh, we have a, a Dean Wormer at Faber. It's his mom. Coincidence. I have a husband named Dean Wormer at Faber. Or husband, damn, wife. I'm old enough to be your mother. Oh. Almost. <laughs> Besides, I have to go to the goddamn senior honors dinner tonight. Maybe some other time. So if you're not busy, you want to go to a fraternity party? My dad would kill me if he knew I was going to a frat house. Is it okay if I meet you there? It's terrific. Damn. Hey, why don't you help yourself to some delicious Delta Punch and I'll join you in a minute. <laughs> okay. They are not just right for this. Assist, this is the guy I was telling you about. Hi. Wow, you're even prettier than Ken said you were. Listen, uh, you two talk while I get some punch for us, okay? Good idea. Uh, oh, no. God, dude, she is killing that gum. Damn. I had to wait until my folks went out. Give me some more punch. Bro, she is killing that gum. Do you want to dance? Bro, they even got a live band and shit. Hold on now, we changing up the speed too. You've been so good to me. You've been so good to me. <laughs> the way he's singing with him. Shit! 
bro. She came in crashing. Yep. Toasted. Bro, she is still killing that gum. Mrs. Wormer, I'm so glad you could come. Have a big crap. Give me a drink. <laughs> oh my god! What is that? <laughs> Bro, they got the, is, this is in the same house? This is like the one room that's kept nice. <laughs> he missed it completely. He has no idea how to do it. Oh, he's about to just rip it. <laughs> uh, I think it's blocked or something. <laughs> My man literally was about to just rip that shit. Jesus, finally the gum's gone. Damn. Oh my god! <laughs> she stuffed it. Fuck her. Oh my Fuck god! The angel. Oh, yep. <laughs> His voice. The devil on the angel, I love man. You, Lawrence. you homo. <laughs> nah. You don't do that. You don't do that. Damn, this is the mayor's daughter? <laughs> Delta probation hearing. Damn. Damn. <laughs> is it going on vacation? We'll waive minutes and proceed directly with charges against Delta Tau Kai. Sergeant at Arms. Yeah. Order in the court. Most recently, at a Roman toga party was held it, that's true received two dozen reports of individual acts of perversion so profound and disgusting Forum his face listing them here these are the charges as recorded this day faithfully submitted douglas c niedermeyer the hissing <laughs> robert hoover will speak on behalf of delta house Robert! I don't think you can fully judge a fraternity without looking at the positive qualities of the people in it. Eh. The Delta House has a long tradition of existence to its members and to the community at large. I think we've heard enough, Mr. Chairman. I was told I'd have a chance to... That's enough. Well, look, he's wow. He said that's it. Are you deaf? Let's finish this damn thing. You know it was like that from the start. <laughs> I don't think it's fair. I'll tell you what's fair, what's not. Leave me. <laughs> Point of parliamentary procedure. Don't screw around. They're serious this time. Take it easy. I'm in pre-law, man. Thought you. Yeah, he said I'm in pre-law. I know, little son. But you can't hold a whole fraternity responsible for the behavior of a few sick, perverted individuals. Or if you do, then shouldn't we blame the whole fraternity system? And if. The whole fraternity system is guilty. And isn't this an indictment of our educational institutions in general? Eh. I put it to you, Greg. Isn't this an indictment of our entire American society? Let him speak. We're not going to sit here and listen to you bad mouth the United States of America. Gentlemen. See how they turned it? You bought it this time, Buster! I'm calling your national office! <laughs> you She's trying so hard to write everything. Ugh. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> what the heck? Where did the cow come from? Jesus. What's going on? They confiscated everything, even the stuff we didn't steal. <laughs> This is ridiculous. What are we gonna do? Road, Road trip. trip. But you can't take the car! Honor Fred wrote the mileage down! He wants it back by Sunday! Dude said we can't have fun here, we're gonna have fun somewhere else. Can I help you? Well, I'm here to pick up my date. Could you ring Fawn Leibowitz for me? Just a minute. Why'd she act like that? Hi, I'm Shelly Dubinsky, Fawn's roommate. 
What's the matter with everyone around here? Why don't we sit down, Frank? What happened to her? Vaughn's dead. <laughs> Did she put you up to this? Oh, that minx. What a lively sense of humor. Sophomore dies in kiln explosion? What? I just talked to her last week. She was going to make a pot for me. Oh, if there's anything I can do. You're so nice. Boy's about to switch up real, real quick. Anything. I just don't think I should be alone tonight. <laughs> I knew it. I'll get my coat. Switched up real could quick. You get three dates for my friends. <laughs> Damn, dude. Otter, holy shit, Otter, stay in the nights. I don't believe this. Hey, same band. Good to be back here at the Death the Lake Club. We like to do for you now a tune entitled Shama Lama Ding Dong. Eh? <laughs> my man always sweating. Oh, oh my gosh. It's dented. It's dented. Yeah. Hey. Eh? Wrong part of town. You girls come here often? Stronger than Never. I'm really sorry, Frank. Would you rather be alone? Eh. <laughs> Dude's been baiting her the whole night. <laughs> oh, they about to get tossed. Do you mind if we dance with your dates? <laughs> oh, not at all. Go right ahead. Dude, rip the table out of the ground. If I was in your shoes, I'd be a uh, leaving. Never, what a good never, idea. Never. Yeah. Damn, they just left their dates there. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, my gosh. I think he hit every car in that parking lot. That is something. You don't say, damn, the whole door, huh? Oh. <laughs> He's like, that didn't do it for you? What about this? <laughs> hey, stop flubbering. When I get through with this thing, you won't even recognize it. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bad thing. Not that it could be much worse. Oh. I missed you. Boone, I was going to try and call you. Uh, hoo, hoo. Boone, I don't know what to say. Boone, wait. I mean, to be fair, you were literally out on a date last night. With him? Huh. Oh, my God. With the fucking teacher? With Dave? Are you serious? Oh sure my god. Are. Why would Mandy want to see me? Wow. Well, I'm sure I don't know Otter. You just have to ask her. Thank you. Thank you very much. Trying to set him up. Oh shit. Well, uh, looks like we're gonna be a couple of flowers short, so some of you boys are gonna have to shit. <laughs> yep. Mr. Kroger. Two C's, two D's, and an F. Congratulations, Jeez. Kroger. You're at the top of the Delta Pledge class. What? That's the top? Mr. Dorfman. Hello. <laughs> 0 0.2. Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. <laughs> Daniel Simpson Day has no grade point average. Oh, what? How is that point. possible? Oh, okay. Mr. Blue... <laughs> Mr. Blutowski. Zero... Point zero. Wow. You gotta try to get that. Out with it. <laughs> oh, that is so disgusting, man. My gosh. I don't think the Deltas will be giving us any more trouble. Greg, honey, is it supposed to be this soft? Every time, man. 
Jesus. I think we have to go all out. One last hoorah. I think this situation absolutely requires futile and stupid gesture be done on somebody's part. <laughs> Everyone else getting hyped up now, too. So how can you show up now? I didn't expect to see you. Well, I never got a chance to say goodnight to you after the party. No kidding. You almost pumped my stomach. Look, is Damn. it okay if we go for a walk or something? What do you mean, or something? Well, I could get some beer. You might get lucky without it. Damn. Before we go any further, there's something I have to tell you. I lied to you. I've never done this before. You've never made out with a girl before? No. I mean, I've never done what I think we're going to do in a minute. I thought I did once, but I was it's drunk. It's okay, Larry. Neither have I. I lied to you, too. Oh, yeah? What about? I'm only 13. Yeah, it's time to go, bro. What? Oh my god. How is she working at the store then? Yes. Oh, my bro, his wife is drunk and or hungover. Excuse me, please. Pardon me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Oh, they're gonna fuck up the parade. Where's Boone? Katie, listen to me. I think you'd be glad later if you weren't here now. Bro, makes it seem like he's about to literally shoot up the place or something. I think they're just gonna destroy the floats, but the way he's talking to her makes it seem so much far worse. Oh, they built a float of their own, too. Eat me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Togetherness. <laughs> Damn. Uh. He's leading him down this way. Oh, no. Bro, it's just a dead end. <laughs> NPCs, bro. Oh, he just had a chain on it to stop it. Damn. It's chaos. Thank you, God. <laughs> Here for payback, baby. Dude, they trash this whole town. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, that hurt my back. Damn, a perfect split. Dude, how much damage, how much, how much does this cost in damages? Damn, bro, hold on now. They might have done something to that car. Look! Damn. Deathmobile. That is dope. The smoke matched the paint job and stuff too, right? The black and red. Yep. <laughs> Dude, the camera shots of everybody flying up. This may seem an inopportune moment to ask Dean Wormer, but do you think you could see your way clear to giving us just one more chance? <laughs> this is Larry Kroger, the boy who molested me last month. What? Get married. I know that you're very busy. Bro, what? <laughs> Great. Look at my thumb. Gee. Yeah. That boy is sleeping. <laughs> Raped in prison, 1974. What? Sensitivity trainer. Dude stole the cop car. Whereabouts unknown. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Boone and Katie married 1964, divi divorced 1969. Sounds about right. Both of them cheated and all that shit. <laughs> Senator. <laughs> What in the world, man? <laughs> Animal House from 1978 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a good movie, man. Just an all around kick back and laugh fucking comedy, dude. Early 2000s comedies, like obviously there, there, there's stuff outside of it too, right? Like this, like comedies from the 80s, 90s, comedies current day even, there's, there, there's a few, but like 2000, 
to 2010 was peak time for comedy movies in my opinion i think some of the best comedy movies ever have come out during that time but i will say the comedy in this was fantastic man i feel like this is just one of those comedies that does not try too hard they just put it on screen and they let things happen man and it is fucking hilarious you know like no overly excessive jokes right everything felt natural nothing felt forced and i just love that man sometimes like don't get me wrong i love some of the over the top comedies that we do have nowadays and that are from the early 2000s and stuff like that but i also love just kind of plain simple stuff now i will say the ending was a bit over the top right the whole parade situation but prior to that everything else was just your simple fucking comedy man sometimes sometimes something as simple as somebody just walking around on screen or stopping and staring and it's like dude that shit is hilarious to me man i loved it this shit was from what 78 like this this is an old ass movie man this is a old ass movie damn near 50 years old and it's this fantastic still you know what i mean like i would watch this again i think this holds up to current day still obviously you can tell it is an older movie but not in a bad way man and i i just loved it dude I, it was one of those kickback laugh comedies it did remind me of um american pie a little bit right just a group of guys having fun and doing their thing and fucking around not really thinking about the consequences right when you're young like that and stuff you don't really think about the consequences of uh, of your actions too much especially for something to that degree like the amount of things they did the amount of damages was just absolutely insane because think about how much money that is going to cost to replace all of that stuff dude and it's just like holy hell and it's just it, it was fantastic man i absolutely loved it but guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always that's if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel i want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on patreon man Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full-length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.